Now let us take box 6 is less than minus a. Say for an example, we are taking box 6 is less than minus 2. In that case, what will happen? What is the first integer that box 6 will take? It is nothing but your since it is less than minus 2. So the first integer that box 6 will take is nothing but minus 3, then minus 4, then minus 5 and this thing goes on. Now when box 6 is minus 3, think about it. Then your x implies what? Tell me. It implies x belongs to minus 3 and minus 2. Am I correct or not? When box 6 is minus 4, then your x lies between what? Minus 4 and minus 3. And this thing goes on. Is it clear? So if you observe, we will find that x, in this case, x is lying from minus 3 to minus 2, then minus 4 to minus 3. So this thing is decreasing, but it will never be more than minus 2. Your x cannot be more than minus 2. So in this case, in this case, your answer will be what? x belongs to, tell me first, from minus infinity till minus 2. Am I correct? So whenever this kind of problem is given, we can directly write this thing as x belongs to minus infinity till minus a. Hello? Is it clear? So we can generate, we can write down this formula, the third formula as when box x is less than minus a, then your x lies between, x belongs to minus infinity till minus a. Is it clear? Now, suppose the same question, I have given you an equal sign. Again, we take the example that box 6 is less than equals to minus 2. Think about it. Now, what is the first integer that box 6 will take? It is nothing but your minus 2. So, your box 6 can take minus 2, then minus 3, then minus 4 and this thing goes on. Now, when box 6 is minus 2, think about it. That implies what? x belongs to, tell me, if box 6 is equals to minus 2, then x belongs to what? x belongs to what? Minus 2, minus 1. Is it clear? Again, when box 6 is minus 3, then what will happen? x belongs to, tell me, it's minus 3, minus 2 and this thing goes on. So in this case, under any circumstances, your x cannot be more than minus 1 or it cannot be equals to minus 1 also. So it is always less than minus 1 and it will extend till minus infinity. Is it clear? So we can write from here, you see, from here we can write x belongs to minus infinity minus 1. Is it clear? So in this case, what we can generate? In this case, when box 6 is less than equals to minus a, think about it. When box 6 is less than equals to minus a, we will write x belongs to minus infinity minus a plus 1. That's it. Is this clear to everyone? Have you understood this method? Clearly? So we have to remember this for formulae. Okay. Now suppose I have given you box 6 is greater than equals to first I will not take equals to it is greater than a less than b. Let us say for an example let me take one example like box 6 is greater than 3 less than say 7. Okay. In that case, you tell me what should be the value, what should be the range of x that should, I mean the x should lie which will satisfy this inequation. Tell me first. Your box 6 can take the values what? 4, 5 and 6, right? When box 6 is 4, your x lies between, tell me, 4 and 5. When box 6 is 5, your x lies between 5 and 6. When box x equals to 6, your x lies between 6 and 7. So what will be your answer in this case? In this case, your answer will be x belongs to closed 4, open 7. Am I correct? Closed 4, open 7. Is it clear? So in this case, in this case, what formula we can generate? This is the fifth one. I'm writing it here. 
Think about it. Box X is greater than A, less than B. When box X was greater than 3, less than 7, the answer was X belongs to closed 4, open 7. So in this case, what you will write? X belongs to closed A plus 1, comma B. Am I correct? Check it carefully. Is it clear? Absolutely. Now suppose if I give you the same question, I'm giving you an equal sign. I'm giving you an equal sign over here. Now think. Same question I will take. Greater than equals to 3. Less than equals to 7. Then what happens? Your box X takes a value. Tell me. First it will take the value 3. Then 4. Then 5. Then 6. Then 7. Right? When box X is 3. Your X lies between close 3. Open 4. When box X is 4. Your X belongs to closed 4 open 5 and this thing goes on when box x is 7 your x belongs to closed 7 open 8 is it clear so combining this we can write x belongs to closed 3 open 8 so when box x is lying from 3 to 7 your final answer your x belongs to closed 3 open 8 is it clear to all of you so what formula we can generate in this case? Can I rub it? Have you understood? Have you make a note of this? Okay. So let me just rub this one. So in this case, we will write X belongs to closed A open B plus 1. Is it clear to all of you? Absolutely. Okay. This will be our sixth formula so this sixth formula sixth formula you just remember to solve any kind of greatest integer function inequality is it clear to all of you okay